things that appealed to me about starting my own YouTube channel was the opportunity to change the world through my thoughts and through my words. And instead, I found myself once again talking about these two dickheads. Hey guys. They, if you didn't watch my previous video, are the YouTube sensations Sam and Nia, who last week came in broad in the Ashley Madison scandal when it transpired that Sam had spent nearly $500 trying to cheat on Nia. And a bad weekend got a little bit worse for them. Well, we just got kicked out of Blogger Fair, guys. Nia's really upset with me. Blogger Fair, in case you're wondering, is an event, a conference, if you like, where people like them, people who share every detail of their lives online, get together for a little chat about everything that they've been up to. When you consider that, it's a lot of people like them. How annoying must you be to get chucked out of that conference? I retweeted it and said it was jacked up that I had said that. Another one liked it. So they pretty much teamed up and were bullying us is what it was. That's all that it was. They were bullying our family. <sighs> as far as I can tell from that little bit of the video, it seems that this was caused by an argument which related around YouTube comments and tweets. This is a grown man who's a father of two. The first guy I approached, um, I told him that uh, I had read what he wrote and it hurt our family, extremely hurt our family. It actually brought Nia to tears. And I told him I forgave him. I said, just want to let you know, man, you caused a lot of hurt within our family. But um, we've forgiven you, we've moved on, we've moved past this. I almost find him endearing in that he's like a child. When he's been caught out doing something wrong, he comes up with the most absurd excuse. And it seems that the word forgiveness to him is just a catch-all solution to explain any wrongdoing that he's done. Then today, I had approached the other guy. I couldn't help myself. He was attacking our family in a public forum. As another family fellow vlogger, it just really got to me. So I was gonna approach him and let him know that I forgave him too. Can you imagine how weird it would be to be at a conference and then just have some bloke really aggressively come up to you saying, hey, I forgive you. But instead of telling him that right away, I approached him and said, hey man, I saw that you liked this post. I was wondering why you liked it. He said that he could like whatever he wants. Once again, grown men. I wanted to apologize. I told him I was sorry about it. I lost my cool. Nothing got physical at all. It was just a verbal altercation. But um, they weren't comfortable with us coming back in. So that's his explanation. It's all well and good, but it's at odds with other eyewitnesses who have tweeted about this. Believe me, I've been reading too much about this guy over the last few days. I've become a little bit obsessed with his antics. But what the other eyewitnesses said is that he definitely was getting physical, he definitely was aggressive. And personally, I work in PR, I've been involved in events before. Sam and Nia were the VIPs at this event, and having managed events before, your VIPs kind of, the whole, the whole event revolves around them. So you let them get away with quite a lot. If the VIPs have been chucked out of an event, you can bet your bottom dollar he's been a dick about something. And um, anyway, I'm deeply apologetic that I acted so stupid. There's just so much going on right now. And I'm just um, an emotional wreck. I'm pretty much an emotional wreck right now. I love how completely annoyed she is with him. She actually seems more annoyed about getting kicked out of Blog Affair than she did about the fact that he was paying $500 to try and cheat on her. Hey guys. I love this bit because what has clearly happened here is that he's been involved in a bit of a row with her and she said to him, no more videoing. And he's actually sneaked outside to try and do a little bit more video vlogging. Um, just so much going on with us right now. Just entirely too much. And the vlog right now is just not feasible for our life right now. Hallelujah, finally this man is talking some sense. We, we're going to take a break for about a week. No, no, you need to take longer. Um, maybe five to seven days, not really sure yet. <sighs> Could be less. <sighs> but we'll be back. The Freighter family will be back and we'll be back as strong as ever. And I'll be watching you like a hawk.